So you want to get mods for Minecraft on your Mac, specifically Forge mods for Minecraft on your Mac. Well, in this video, we're going to go over every single step of how to do that, how to download, how to install, how to fix some common issues you may have when installing Forge and mods on your Mac. It's all going to be covered in this video. But first, what if you want a modded server? Well, you can go to Apex Minecraft Hosting, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to very quickly and easily start a modded Minecraft server or a vanilla Minecraft server or a Minecraft server with plugins. Doesn't matter what you want, you can do it all at Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can even host mod pack servers over there and we love and trust Apex so much that we also are on server play.breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft hosting so go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get a, an amazing Minecraft server up and running. Nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into getting Forge on your Mac. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. Currently this tutorial is for Windows but we do have a Mac one specific coming out so when you click in the description down below it will look very similar. What you want to do is scroll down and click on the download Forge button. When you click on that it will take you to Forge's official download page and once you're here you want to make sure the version of Forge you want is selected. Currently, that's 1.18.1, but for you, it may be 1.18.2, 1.19, 20, 21, 22. It doesn't matter what version of Minecraft it is. You want to make sure whatever version you want is selected, and then click on Installer under Download Latest. When you do that, it's going to take you off to Add Focus, where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears after about 10 seconds in the top right. That's the only thing you want to click right up here in the top right. Click the red skip button, and boom, it will download Forge right like so. It's that simple. Now, you may need to keep this file if you're on Google Chrome, save it if you're on Firefox, or allow to download this file if you are on Safari. So it just depends on which browser you're on, but you may need to do one of those things. So now, once we've got that, let's go ahead and get Forge install. Minimize our browser and we can see in our downloads folder here we have Forge. I'm going to drag that to the desktop but you don't have to. You can do everything from your downloads folder. Once Forge is on your desktop you simply want to double click on it. Now at this point you're probably going to get some sort of warning like this, right? It cannot be open because it's from an unidentified developer. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead and click OK here and then you want to go to System Preferences. So just go to System Preferences right like so and then you want to go once we move this over to Security and Privacy right here. Then you want to click on General up here at the top. Finally, you will have down here at the bottom, Forge was blocked because it's not from an identified developer. It's 100% safe though, so you can go ahead and click Open anyway. Then you're going to get this kind of final pop-up where you can click Open again. Now for most of you, it will probably go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, it's because you need to download and install Java for your Mac. Java is required, specifically Java 17 is required, to be able to run Minecraft mods in your Mac, like Forge, like Optify, but also Minecraft servers and things like that. If you want to host your own server, you need Java 17. Luckily, we have an in-depth guide here on how to download and install Java 17 for your Mac. Not only do we have a text tutorial, we also got a great video up here at the top for you. Now, though, we can minimize our browser, and to install Forge, it's actually very, very simple. All you need to do is make sure Install Client selected, and then click OK. Is it going to download, install, and do everything it needs to do to get Forge set up and running for Minecraft on your Mac? The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've not played the version of Minecraft that you're trying to install Forge for. If that's the case, go play that version, come back, and this will work. You also want to make sure Minecraft's closed out and all that stuff, right? Minecraft shouldn't be open when you're doing this. But nevertheless, it will eventually say successfully install Client Profile Forge. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. And now we can delete this Forge Pro or this Forge installer from our computer. We don't need it anymore, whether it's in your downloads, desktop, you can get rid of it. Now, though, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Right, like so. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, we want to make sure that our Forge profile is selected. Now, for me, it's going to be automatically selected, as you can see. And if it is selected for you like this, awesome. Click play and click play again. You're good to go. But if it's not selected, click this little arrow and you can probably select it from this list. But if it's still not there, what you want to do is come up here to the top and click on installations. Then you want to make sure modded is checked on the right hand side. As you can see, we unchecked modded and boom, Forge is gone. Check modded, there is Forge. You can click play and click play again. But if you still don't have Forge, you to click new installation here. Then you can name the server you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible Minecraft 1.18 and 1.19. We're constantly updating it. Minecraft server. And let's go ahead and click the latest release drop down here. And then you want to select a release Forge here. So it doesn't matter what version it is. You just want to make sure it has Forge in the release. You can set your resolution if you want. I'm going to because you want to see when you get in game. And then finally we can click create. Then we want to go ahead and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. So just hover over it, click the green play button, and click play again and now Minecraft will open up with Forge. 
that's awesome. That's how you can get Forge installed. But you also want to get mods installed, and to do that, we will need to download some mods. So I'm going to go ahead and let Minecraft open. Once it is open with Forge, we'll get the mods, get those installed, and you'll be done. So here we are. Minecraft is open. As you can see, we've got this mods tab here on the main menu. That's an indication that Forge is installed and working. As far as Minecraft mods go, there are tons of mods out there. The key thing you want to look for is Forge. You want to make sure you're downloading Forge mods, like the two linked in the description down below. Those are Journey Map and Just Enough Items. Just Enough Items here allows you to see all the blocks in Minecraft and all the things that are added to Minecraft, and then you can see how to craft those by simply clicking on them. It's super easy. Once you're here, though, this is a dedicated tutorial. Just scroll down and click the yellow Download Just Enough Items button. That will take us to Curse Forge, where on the right-hand side, you want to scroll down and download the version of Just Enough Items you want. Currently, that's 1.18.1, but for you, it can be different, and it still will work. Click the orange Download button there, and the download will begin. Now, you might be wondering how to see if something is Forge. A lot of times, you can just hover over next to Game Version here, and you'll see there's Forge, right? So that's one of the ways that you can tell. Now, unless the mod is downloaded, you may have to allow, keep, or save this file depending on your browser. Now, let's go ahead and download Journey Map. Again, dedicated tutorial here, but once you're here, just scroll down and click on that yellow Download Journey Map button. Takes you off to Curse Forge here, where we can hover over this and see Forge. Come to the right-hand side, scroll down, find the 1.18 version, and click the orange download button. Again, the file is going to download. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser or allow it depending on your browser. There we go. Boom. Now we can minimize our browser, and in our downloads folder, we'll be able to find these mods. So here they are. We have Journey Map and Just Enough Items. Again, you can drag these to your desktop for ease of use if you want, or you can leave them in your downloads folder. It's honestly completely up to you. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop or from your downloads folder, you just want to go into Minecraft here, click on mods and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That's then going to open up our mods folder right like so. And all we want to do is drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want into this mods folder. Now you may get a warning saying, are you sure you want to remove these from my cloud drive? Yes, you do. So go ahead and click move. You may not get that warning, by the way. And if you don't, that's okay. But if we come back to Minecraft here, we've added these to the mods folder, but the mods aren't there, right? And they're not going to be there until we click done, quit Minecraft, and then reopen up Minecraft. So we want to go and open up Minecraft again from the Minecraft launcher. This time, again, making sure that we're playing with either our Forge profile or we are playing with the profile we created. So in our case, played our breakdowncraft.com that most importantly has 1.18.1 dash forge under it. If that looks good, click play, click play again, confirming you're mo playing mod in Minecraft. And now Minecraft is going to open with forge, but most importantly, your forge mods installed. And you can install any forge mods you want this way. That's going to be things like just enough items and journey map like we just did, or biomes of plenty, or any other Minecraft forge mod that you want. Nevertheless, though, there's no reason for me to talk while this is opening, so I'll meet you on the main menu just to prove these mods are working. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu with Forge and click Mods. There are our Forge mods, Journey Map, and Just Enough Items. And of course, we can jump into our single player world here and see these mods in full action. Some mods, by the way, you can use on servers, but these mods specifically, I'm not trying to, right? I'm just not trying to. There's no reason to. So we're jumping into single player and we'll be able to see Journey Map and Just Enough Items. These mods actually should, though, work on most servers and actually be allowed without any issues. But nonetheless, once we're in game, it's very, very simple to see these mods. Journey map, boom, in the top right. There it is. There is journey map generating our map right like so. And then if we go ahead and hit our inventory, boom, on the right hand side, there is just enough items. We can click on stuff like how do you make warp planks? I don't know, but that's how you can get them. How do you get things like, uh, what was that? The uh, warped uh, Haifa? How do you get that? I don't know. I, I really don't. Okay, so we go find these, right? And that's what's really cool. If we want to see how we can get netherite blocks, we can craft those out of netherite ingots, which we can get from netherite, or by using netherite scrap and gold ingots, right? So cool stuff. You can see all the different crafting recipes, and this is really helpful when you add in mods and you don't know the crafting recipes. Like, I know how to make netherite blocks, right? But I don't know how to make weird custom tools from a weird mod that I've installed, and those usually work with just enough items. Speaking of journey map, though, if we go ahead and hit J, it's going to open up the journey map GUI here where we can see our full map, right? As you explore, as you go around your Minecraft world, this will populate and you can scroll around your entire Minecraft world using Journey Map. It's a really, really cool mod. But thanks so much for watching. You know how to get mods on your Minecraft for your Mac. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and check out the awesome other Mac tutorials that we have on your screen right now. Tons of awesome Mac tutorials that we're posting and keeping updated. So check those out on your screen. Anyway, I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.